Hello everyone on YouTube. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. This is John and today I'm going to be going into the world of Strange once again. Now this is an item that I saw um, on different news uh, programs uh, as well as online and this is a cocktail um, that is being sold by the BLT restaurant group uh, and there are many locations including one here in Chicago however I did not go there for it because I wanted to try it here at home and review it well they also sold a kit to make this cocktail through Gold Belly which I have reviewed before um, when I went on a fishing trip and we had muffaletta sandwiches made fresh in New Orleans shipped the next day so we could enjoy them as fresh as possible on a fishing trip up in um, I believe we were in Wisconsin at the time um, so out in the middle of a lake on the northern parts of Wisconsin we were able to have a sandwich which was made fresh in New Orleans from Gold Belly and that's the same company that sold these kits and that was a unnecessary bit of information but anyway what do I have in front of me this is a take on a martini as you can see it has olives on top but this is no ordinary martini what is so strange about this well this is actually called a Veltini because it's made with Velveeta as you can see on the skewer I have these shells made from this box of Velveeta jumbo shells also on the skewer you will notice two stuffed olives and those olives are stuffed with chunks of this brick of Velveeta you will also notice on the rim of this glass there is a bit of cheese stuck to the rim well that is none other than from this packet of Velveeta cheese sauce and also the actual cocktail itself is made with Velveeta cheese infused vodka now that part did not come with the kit uh, because Gold Bell is unable to put alcohol in their packages anyway I have Vito's uh, vodka um, is it Vito's Vito it's something like that but it's pretty good vodka and all I did was take about a cup of that vodka and I put it in the bottle and I rested it maybe overnight maybe a full 24 hours with some more of this cheese sauce and after that time I froze it and I ran it through a a cheesecloth and a fine mesh strainer to get all the cheese solids out of it just so I can have a cl uh, not a clear because it was kind of cloudy but to have a vodka that it was Velveeta cheese infused and that's exactly what I have here you mix that in a typical martini fashion with some dry vermouth and some of the pickle the uh, olive brine that came with these pickles as well so I have not tried it I took a little sip of the infusion um, before but I have not tried the actual cocktail which I have right here in my nice coup glass I prefer this coup style glass to the more triangular martini glasses I think they just look a little bit more classy um, and less sharp uh, anyway let's go ahead and try it out it smells olivey a little bit cheesy definitely a dirty martini I think you taste a lot more olive from the brine than you taste of the cheese let me take a sip through the uh, 
the cheese that I have on the lip here. It's not bad. It tastes like a dirty martini. Like I said, the olive brine flavor comes out more than the cheese flavor. Let's enjoy some of our skewer. A Belvita shell, just like you think it would taste. Even with the Velveeta stuffed in the olive, really all I taste is that briny olive flavor, but with a weird creamy consistency that gushes out when you bite down into it. They give you these nice skewers. Like a toothpick with a little golden ball on it. And they gave me two plastic martini cups that are disposable. They were both cracked and destroyed in the packaging when I opened it. So that's why I, one of the reasons why I use my own glass. But still, for martinis, I prefer a coup than a martini glass. Cheers, let's finish this off. There you are. The Veltini, the Velveeta cheese infused vodka used to make a standard dirty martini. It tastes fine. Um, I don't think the Velveeta necessarily added much to the idea of a dirty martini. I like dirty martinis. My wife likes dirty martinis. But she likes it with uh, blue cheese stuffed olives which I also like. Um, she was against uh, the idea of this and will not be tasting it um, out of her principles. Women, I tell ya. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Give a thumbs up. What other weird things are out there that I should be aware of and maybe review here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.